being forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby, so. So, if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Why sir, don't you take him out of sir, here? Sir, you hit me. I'm going to do you hit me. Okay? Sir, okay now you now take my picture, me. Me. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. They're criminals. They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please. Dude, please. Oh, my God. Don't do that to him. You guys don't know what you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you Ma'am, stand right here. Ma'am. Oh, man. Ma'am. 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 You guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously. Please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to Compton, California, where we find the frauditor Mighty Mouse. That's right, Mighty Mouse. He has a mighty mouth as well, but I think I already have another frauditor by that name of Mighty Mouth. But at any rate, he stands around on a public sidewalk and decides to annoy a security guard on private property. Hmm. Whatever happened to government transparency and holding government officials accountable? What happened to that? Because um, I don't get this. I really don't get this. And he stands there and acts like an eight-year-old child. Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Yeah, it's tough to watch this video. Just think about me, though. I had to edit the darn thing. All right, sit back, watch, and <laughs> enjoy. California Air Compressor Company. That's where I am in the city of Compton, everybody. That's where I'm at. City of Compton. Oh no, seriously, dude, you don't want to come out. Record. Sir, you're ruining my video. I'm out here in public recording. Can't record. I need to know you're no, you don't need to know anything. So here we have a 54 year old man behind the potato camera who thinks he's a teenager and wears his baseball cap backwards. What would your daddy say if he were still around? Or is he still around? He would say, Look, boy. Get your act together and get a real job. That's what he would say. No doubt about it. And you're, you're saying you're making a story. What kind of a story? A pitiful YouTube story? Is that what you're doing, Phil? 
Mighty Mouse, that's what we call you, Mighty Mouse. The mouse who thought he could be something, but was nothing. Because it's none of your business. What? This is your property? No, I don't. That's a public easement, dude. Okay. Where do I get that? Nah, you're wrong, dude. Well, if I got to educate you, you shouldn't be working for Securitas. I'm in public, dude. That's as a public easement. Sure I can. It's a fr what? It's my business. Well, what's your social security number? There you go. That that's what I just told you. I had to play that back a couple of times just to be sure, but that guard never said anything about a social security number. So what are you yammering about, Phil? 54-year-old and you already got dementia? What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's going to happen in a few more years when he starts to get aches and pains and he can't fraud it anymore? What are you going to do, Phil? Oh, oh, that's right. You're going to be on the dole. Well, he lives in California. They have a good dole program out there in old Cali. Yeah, they just give millions of dollars to people. Oh, did I say millions? I should have said billions. Yeah, man, you'll get plenty of food stamps and housing assistance. No worries at all. Yeah, I can. It's none of your business. Oh, dude, you're a parrot. Leave me alone. Okay, my delete button's broke. You're off your property, dude. No, I'm just saying, you, you, you're, you're off your property. You, got a camera in front of my face. you walked up to me. You, you walked up to me. Why? Because you're acting suspicious. Is that a misdemeanor or felony? Yeah, you're acting suspicious. Okay. Why you what are you going to do I about it? Know, I, can't, I can't do nothing about it. Right. So go away. Leave me alone. I'm so amazed at Mighty Mouse these last few videos. Who knew he was such a bad little man? A bad little man. What are you going to do about it? Uh, go away. Leave me alone. Well, those, are, those are tough man words. Those are tough man words. And considering you're a dwarf, huh, not to be confused with another dwarf. Yeah, but you're a dwarf. You're about, what, five feet tall? You suffer from little man syndrome. But it's okay. Don't worry. Plenty of little guys throughout history have been famous and they're smart and they can do things. Oh, but you don't fall into that category. Oh, my bad. None of your business. Why? Why? I need to know. You just told me. I don't, I don't need to tell you nothing. You don't need to know Jack, dude. You don't need to know Jack. Why? 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 The idiot sounds like a broken record, doesn't he? His needle's stuck in the groove. He's got a one-track mind and he can't say anything else. Somebody, please slap the boy and snap him out of this. Yeah, get somebody give him a smackdown. Oh, please. Think about me. I have to sit here and edit this. Oh, you just watching it. I have to edit it. Feel sorry for me. Why? 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 Bye.
when this First Amendment craze began, it was all about holding public officials and government officials to being transparent. Mm. So now it's morphed into standing on a public sidewalk and holding private businesses to the same level. I don't get it. I just don't get it. So you want to stand out on a private sidewalk and you want to harass a security guard who's working for a private business. Now, please help me understand how this protects our First Amendment freedoms here in America. Oh, 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 that's right. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. All it does is put money in your pocket with your stupid YouTube channel. That's all it does. And I'm going to call these people out every time I see them. Just like you, Mighty Mouse. Stupid. Can't fix stupid, people. Walks up to me and tells me I got the camera in his face. What a moron. Why? Why? Bye. Bye. Why? Bye. Bye. Why? This certified moron wants to call the security guard a moron. And he wants to call him stupid. It's amazing how this guy calls everybody else the names he really is, and he doesn't know it. The poor lad. I think we should start a GoFundMe account. Not to give to him, to put him in the mental health institute where he belongs. Five minutes later. Look at this moron. Get ready, everybody. Why? 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 This is a 54-year-old man who seems to be acting like an 8-year-old child. He's a brat. That's what he is. He's a brat. And I tell you what, I think it's mommy and daddy's fault. Mommy and daddy didn't pay enough attention to this boy when he was growing up, and this is the end result. Of course, I said growing up. That's a misnomer. He never grew up. He's a dwarf. Yeah, but at any rate, I think he has a Napoleon complex. He suffers from little man complex. He's a dwarf. <laughs> I like that. Of course, I'm using that from somebody else. But it applies in this situation as well. Something's wrong with this guy. He stands there and repeats the same word over and over. That's an eight-year-old child hanging with a temper tantrum. That's all it is. Bye. Bye, why? Bye, why? Stay right there. Stay right there, bye, bye. Bye, why? Why? Why, why? This guy was saying why to me just consistently, so I'm parroting him. Why? Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, why? What an idiot. Whole time I'm standing right here and he's telling me that I'm standing over here on his property. Guy's such a dirtbag. That's how, that, that's what they do, they all lie. Let's see, get the security cameras, folks. Where are they? Oh, there's one down there at the front, but I don't see anything right here at the corner. Where'd you go, bye-bye? Why? Why'd you go bye-bye? This guy's got a big set because he goes out and he usually is by himself. So I don't know, man. He's got some big cojones. You got to have backup if you're going to run your mouth like this because if something happens to you, you're just going to be flat out on the sidewalk. And who's going to come by? Oh, there's Mighty Mouse down on the sidewalk. I wonder if he needs help. Yeah, he needs help. He has to go to the hospital. Idiot boy. There's the idiot boy right there. 
check your tail. Check your tail. Oh, that's illegal, you said. You said it was illegal. You need my consent. You're an idiot. Come off your property more, dude. You're going to lose your job at Securitas. You're going to lose your job. What's your BSIF number? I identify yourself. Give me your BIS number, dude. You got to identify when the public asks you, man. What you gonna do, man? Pull up your pants, man. Good luck finding a new job, idiot. Look, they're neighbors, everybody. This guy came across the street. This guy came out. Lose your job, bro. Find one. Good luck in retail. All the stores are closed. Well, now, there you have it, folks. Another First Amendment audit. Really? That's a First Amendment audit. That protects our freedoms here in America. Oh, thank you so much, Mighty Mouse. Without your work, my freedoms would be eroded. I'm more worried about what's going on in the White House right now than I am the First Amendment freedoms. No doubt about it, sweetheart. This guy is something else, though. He stands there and acts like a child. Well, just about all frauditors act like children when you think about it. But this guy is something else, isn't he? Yeah, he needs a good slap across the cake hole to wake him up. And, and that might not even be enough. He might need, need something a little more severe. But at any rate, if you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, and morons on my channel, please subscribe. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. So many. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Katie racist. Oh. That's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Call, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You go to jail, bro. Go ahead. Put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Bro, no I'm reason really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On um, public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's, she's right in my face, guys. You, you just me? assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, you to record you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla hamdula, alu akbar. Greetings, Dr. Dave here. There was a great deal of confusion when I posted yesterday about my members only section. I will never charge to watch content on my channel ever. Let me repeat that. There will never be a charge to watch any videos on my channel. The members only section I was referring to is strictly for live streams. It's optional. You will never pay one single penny to watch anything on my videos or live streams. It's completely optional. If you would like to join the channel, it's up to you, but it will never cost a penny to watch anything on my channel ever. Now, let me get on with the public service announcement. Hello everyone, Dr. Dave here. Due to high demand and interest, Dr. Dave has decided to create a members only area for all his subscribers. Several badges and emojis are currently present. I'd like your feedback. What kind of badges and emojis would you like to see? And uh, right now there's only one level you can join at. Let me know what other levels you'd be interested in. I really don't want to charge people extra money for an early view of a video. I believe that everyone should see the videos when they become available. But if you're really interested in something that I can provide, let me know and I will look into it. But for now, <laughs> enjoy!